It's time for the E3 bets session. Woo! Oh, boy. Oh, baby. Oh, Dang. this is awesome. All right. So uh, before we get into anything else about E3, as I said, we have a bonus bit at the end talking about the rest of E3. Alfred and myself have had to come up with five to six, I, I think six now, Yeah, you said uh, yes or no type of questions to ask our guests. All these questions are about E3, obviously. Um, here is how the betting special is going to work. So you viewers and listeners, listen up. <coughs> the, there will be 12 bets taken down, six each from Alfred and Nate. When one of us asks a guest one of the questions, the, an- uh, the answer to that question, if it turns out to be correct at E3, will garner the person who asked the question one point. As an example, if I ask Darren if the sky is going to be blue during E3 and he says yes and the sky is blue, that would be a point for me. If he says yes and it's not blue, it would be a point for Alfred. Just as an example, that's not <laughs> one of the questions. That's awesome. Uh, um, yeah, so either Sighting. way, no matter what, someone gets a point for that oh. answer. Um, <laughs> and the, what's interesting about this is we'll get to choose which person we want to ask these questions to. Um, so the questions are obviously going to be asked to people that we are hoping will give us the answer where, <coughs> that we think is correct. Because um, we're not answering these ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there's going to be a total of 12 points up for grabs. If something crazy happens and we happen to have a tie, uh, we'll, we'll settle that tie on the first podcast following E3. Uh, so not the podcast we're going to have during E3 because the bets will be the bets after show as I'll call it will be the the following week's podcast. So two weeks from now, and then all of these bets are obviously associated with things that we do not know about E3. Things that um, not even rumored about necessarily. Uh, it might be rumored, I guess, but um, just things that that aren't surefire bets that are going to be there, not heavily hinted, are going to appear. Uh, yeah. So, what makes this exciting, of course, is um, whoever wins gets massive bragging rights. That's that's always great. Um, I want bragging rights. <laughs> Don't we all? So, so the, the, so this betting special is just between me and Alfred, uh, the, the host of this podcast. And if I win, oh, baby, and I'm going to win. <laughs> um, Alfred... Here's, here's, here's what you're going to do. And, and for our listeners, he has no idea, and I have no idea, what the stakes are for this bet. Okay? <laughs> so my, my stake to Alfred, if he loses, he has to record a video of himself dressed as much as he possibly can as Tingle. Oh, <laughs> saying Kula Limpa as someone splashes his face with cherry Kool-Aid. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Well, that's an oh, incentive. Okay. That's right. So I'm going to win easily because – and you guys all want me to win, right? Because you want to see Alfred dressed as Tingo yes. and Kool-Aid thrown in his face saying the infamous line. I mean, come on. I, I, I automatically have everyone in my corner now. I, Unless Alfred, Alfred comes up with what, something. What's, uh, what's your stake against me? <laughs> see, it's funny that you mentioned Tingle because oh, my I think thought... every idea I had is based around Tingle. My thought was to have you do the next Boss Man episode dressed as Tingle and calling everyone your pretty little fairies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's And then the ending coin. it with Kulimpa. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, so, so is that is that the stake we're going with? Yeah. That that's okay. So a Boss Man episode where I have to dress as Tingle. Call everyone what again? You're gonna have to you, remind me. I'm totally forget. Basically, act like Tingle. Like everybody's your fairy. You're a 30 year old fairy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like okay. You believe you're I a fairy. Get to, I How finally get to. How is that different than any other boss man episode? Reenact my hero. Does that every day? <laughs> what are we talking about? Say, so say, have you watched? Have you watched the boss man? Kind of emulate my hero, Tingle. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I I have a second idea that um, I'll maybe I'll. Maybe I'll use it as a raise the stakes moment if we tie. Okay. Because um, <laughs> the second idea is even better. <laughs> All right. I'm glad that I went with the first one. I wasn't sure how, how much I should torture you yet. This is our first ever <laughs> betting special at, at uh, Zelda Informer. So, yeah, needless to say, it's only going to get worse from here, folks. It's exciting, though. <laughs> God, um, it's since exciting. I got to say my, my stake for this bet first, um, which is clearly I'm going to win, so Alfred better be ready. Uh, 
You can ask the first question, Alfred, to okay. either of our guests. Ooh, the confidence. And hold on. Before you do that, before you do that. Oh, I'm very confident. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'd let him ask all six rapid fire, but I, eh, no. <laughs> I, I got to... I got to get out my little pad here and make sure I write down what the answers were. What? Okay, Alfred, go ahead and ask your first question. Okay, so uh, this is for Rabbit Luigi. Yep. Okay. So I, Nintendo always says something akin to this phrase, and I think that they will say it again this year. So this is Nintendo will say it's something along the lines of, look forward for more exciting content in months to come. So, so where's the question in that? Do, do you think that they'll say that? Uh, I do think they will say that, yes. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alfred. I, I should have added a caveat rule that I was thinking of at the time, but I never put it in here beforehand. Um, it should be that we cannot influence the answers. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but it, it's okay. It's okay. Because if we're influencing the answers, then we might as well not even ask other people. But, you know, if you can't even. but that's okay. Um, we'll still count that. That was not a rule up until that question. Um, oh, boy. Uh, which one do I want to I want to answer for? No, I, I need a surefire win here. It's tense. Hmm. This is very tense. That's yes. some big stakes uh, All right. This. This, is, this is for you, Rabbit Luigi. Oh, wow. Oh, going back to, going back to the Rabbit Luigi well. Putting all the pressure going on me. Going back to the Rabbit Luigi well. <laughs> yes, yes, I am putting a lot of pressure on you. Will Nintendo unveil a new game during their live stream that has been previously unannounced? During their live stream? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, I'm going to say no, because I'm feeling interesting. Good. You know, <laughs> Solid pick. During a, a live solid stream? Solid pick right there. Probably not. Okay. All right. All right. I was very specific about that. All right, Alfred, it's your turn. Okay, Darren. Yes. Nintendo will announce the date of their next Nintendo Direct. Do you think that they'll do that? Like, sorry, no. I didn't write these as questions. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> Man, you got the kitty gloves on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the kitty gloves on, man. These, no, I'm asking my easy so questions obvious. first. Oh, man. Oh, man. All I right. I need away. another surefire win here. There's a lot of smack talk in this. It's oh. incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's, I am just, not dressing just this Just you wait. <laughs> this is not happening. I'm winning. Um, all right. Darren. Yes. <clears throat> Will Nintendo say open world during their live stream <laughs> over or under 15 times? Um, Ooh, that's hmm. a good twist. I think they will say under 15 times. Okay. Okay. This one, I have, I have no idea. What, I, I know they're going to say it. I just Under. Definitely under. Don't know how many. They might just, like, that's all we've heard about this game. Is how much do they want to push it? Mortal, so. Surely they've got other yeah, things right. to talk um, about. Um, uh, I know, okay. I'm not very confident in, in Darren's answer to that. All right. Alfred. Okay, uh, this has, can I, mine kind of has three answers to it. Three possible <laughs> answers. Okay. So, no, no, no. It, the, just, okay. just listen to yeah, the question. No, hey, you want, a, you want a 33% chance, that's fine with me. All right. Okay. Uh, Rabbit Luigi. Yep. Will, will Square Enix show off Final Fantasy VII, the, the remake, or will Sony, or will both of them show it off? I see why you made that a three-part question. Uh... I'm going to say both of them will. Oh, okay. that's such a give me. It's another easy one. <laughs> so you say that. Gonna do it. But I had a reason for asking that question that you won't let me talk about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Because oh, right. you just don't want me to win. That's it. Oh, of course I don't want you to win. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am going to ask this one of... You know what? No, 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 no. I'm not even going to... I'm going to do it. This is... I'm going bold here. This is very bold. This is for Rabbit Luigi. Hold on this to something. This probably should be a Darren question, but this is totally. I'm going Rabbit Luigi because I, I feel I feel a little evil asking Darren this one. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> All right. Will Don't... there be over or under 250 posts 
made at Zelda Informer. Not counting <laughs> any content posted by our live at three crew from Tuesday through the end of day Thursday during E3. Over two, was it over two hundred and fifty? Did you say over or under? Over or under two hundred fifty. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I'm gonna say I can't. I can't ask Darren this. He he knows. Darren, it would feel like cheating if I asked Darren. What if yeah. it's exactly two hundred and fifty? Then no one gets a point. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say under. Actually, no. Sorry, it would them. automatically go to Alfred. Oh, okay. Because you'd be wrong. You'd be neither. I, I'm gonna I'm still gonna you, say under. You're gonna say what? I'm gonna say under. Oh, that's not the answer I want. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, well. oh boy, I'm anticipating like 500 this year. Um, I don't know. I'm not here. Maybe there'll be less. Beats me. All right, uh, Alfred, it's your turn, bud. Okay, yeah. uh, Darren. Yo. Do you think the reception for Zelda Wii U will be positive or negative? Positive. <laughs> oh my god! How could it be <laughs> negative? How bad See, you does say it have that, to be but... for it to be negative? <laughs> Another delay. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, I have to ask on this one. All right, what metrics are we using to determine if it's positive or negative? Like overwhelmingly positive. Like I guess if you're scouring the internet and you see like IGN talking about it, Gamespot talking about it, um, look so at like over co- over over media. <clears throat> yeah, over media. I, I can, like yeah. even seeing like. I can like, be the judge of this by looking at the comments section of our posts. <laughs> like I, I can tell. Yeah, but that, no, 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 he's not. He's saying media coverage. Okay. He's not yeah. Talking about like like overall coverage okay. for Zelda. I just U need to know like when I'm it. looking back, trying to figure out who did what. Like I just need to make sure that I know what I'm looking for for that. Okay. You'd be able. He's to just tell. looking yeah. for loopholes That's a, so uh, that he again, doesn't have to. Again, win we're four questions deep, and you have four very obvious answers. <laughs> I just. No creativity. Me it upsets me. There's no creative. Fine. Here, here's a creative one. This one's for Darren. <laughs> oh yay! All right. Will Aisha Tyler? You know who she is, right? Treehouse, right? The, I can't tell you who she the is. The Ubisoft Fine. woman. Oh, okay. Okay. Will Aisha Tyler at any point during the Ubisoft press conference go take a seat in the crowd? First of all, it's Ubisoft. <laughs> Second of all, yes, she will. Thank you. You're welcome. I think that's a sure. Fire, I think that's a surefire win right there. That one's probably my my surest bet so far. <laughs> she's done it twice out of the four times she's done it. I think so. Okay. You want? I, know, you I want can give sh- you that nugget now. You already answered. <laughs> you want a surefire right, one now? Oh my god! No. <laughs> Will oh, Zelda like, Wii U be at E3? <laughs> yes. <or no. laughs> I, if I lose, if I lose, if I get slaughtered like six to nothing, twelve to nothing, guys. Next betting special, it's it's on. Down. I'm gonna ask the dumbest questions that have the most obvious answers. Hey, I asked Anyways. if I could have stupid questions, so here's a really I stupid did. question for Darren. <laughs> okay. Oh, <great. laughs> okay. I'm trying to say this with a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Do you think Half Life Three will be <laughs> an NX exclusive? Oh my gosh! <laughs> As an NX no exclusive? No creativity. <laughs> wait, wait, okay. creative. Repeat the question. Repeat the question. <laughs> Do you think Half Life Three will be announced as an NX exclusive? <laughs> <laughs> No, I do not. <laughs> Imagine if it did. Oh, the internet would crack in two. It would be amazing. Fans, if I lose, if I lose, I want you to remember this question. <laughs> and think about, is this the kind of betting special you want? This betting special can change in the future. Not, not this time, but in the future. If you guys want it to be better. Just think about that question. <laughs> Half Life Three, even being announced, let alone NX, when the NX isn't even going to be talked about. In fact, should that be disqualified? I, hey, we we already said, factually know. You NX said things will not things we yeah, don't has, know, but it has to be things, things we that, can't that, know. <laughs> yes, but we know NX. We know that NX is not going to be at E three. Nintendo goes back. They might announce a time. game for it. Like Gabe Newell could just walk out and be like Half Life Three for NX and then walk off the stage. Who would do that without the <laughs> NX ever being unveiled? Nintendo, because they're Nintendo. <laughs> but Nintendo, it'd have to come from Valve. 
Okay, exactly. so Valve and okay. Nintendo do it. At I mean, the same time. I, I, it, Half-Life Three being exclusive to anything is already a stupid. <laughs> but to a console that's not even at E3, that's just no, Miyamoto just comes. I don't know. Out, you like... know what? I, I'll allow it. I'll allow you to have your free win on that one. Um, fans, I, let me know if I should allow that one because that that seems I, like a low blow. We already know NX. I not hope I'm E3. right. And that it will be. Like, I hope I'm wrong. Yeah, I, you can hope all you want. I, <laughs> I mean, this is the podcast, the E3 Hype Podcast. It's for hopes and dreams. But, um, man. <clears throat> that is the wildest is, bit of you need hopes to help and me come dream up with I've heard in a rules. long time. <laughs> Fans, please help me come up with stricter rules for future betting sessions. I can already tell. I might as well just go and start making a homemade Tingo costume right now. <laughs> look good, don't worry. But you know what? That's okay. You know what? I do have two questions left. I think these are going to be a couple wins in my court. And I figure if Alfred just get a couple of his wrong, I might just have this. Even though I asked the harder questions. I think I got this. So, this one, I'm going to ask Rabbit Luigi. Yep. Because something just tells me that he pays more attention to this company than Darren Wow, does. okay. Could do. I'm, prob- I'm probably wrong. But it's just a feeling. This is what happens when you don't really know a person. <laughs> I just have I just have a sense about it's this like question. a wild guess, the instinct. Will Sony announce a PlayStation Slim edition? Eddie, uh, and it doesn't have to be called PlayStation Slim, just like a smaller version of their current. A, a, a smaller <laughs> light version of the PlayStation. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, that's a good question. I'm gonna say yes. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. That's no. that's a good question. I, that is I'm, how you I'm, play I'm this game. I'm personally torn on that one. That is a good question. <laughs> I'm personally torn on that one. I would have said no. Because like there's there's like these rumors of like Xbox out there, like doing that, and I just don't know. I mean, Sony might just have the PS4K and just be done with it, but I'm, I don't know. They does, they have a history of it. So does it specifically have to be if, a if slimmer, attention, lighter yet. version, or can it just be a different version of the yeah, PS4? Yeah, it's just a, it's a, it's just a smaller version <clears throat> of the current PlayStation 4. All right. In some way. In some way. Um, all right. Uh, I, I think this is... Yeah, this is our final question for the bets right now. Okay. Alfred. This one, I've been, I've been like thinking about it for a while, ever since this was kind of announced. I was going to ask... I'm going to reword it because Nate's crying about easy questions and stuff. <laughs> so, um, I'll give this one to Rabid Luigi. Will Sony's project with Kojima's Productions be a spiritual successor to Metal Gear, or will it be consu- something completely new? I'm I'm thinking it'd be something completely new with sort of nods back to Metal Gear. So I've the 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 uh, spiritual successor one, but also a bit of the first one. Mainly the spiritual successor <laughs> answer. Oh, this is a one or the other. Yeah, second one. It'll be a spiritual. Okay, so something completely new. Yes, that's what I'm... What, so, what you, so what, new. Something completely new. I forget which one was second or first, but something completely new, basically. Okay, okay. yeah. I would have said that, that, too. that Yeah. Do we know if uh, that, that game uh, even being shown off? That was, my, that was one of my questions, was like, do we think that they'll show it off at E3? Because they've talked about it a lot, and they keep re- yeah, they revealing yeah, they logos they after logo. Sh- show it off. Yeah, okay. Okay, no, no, that, that's cool. I, I like that question. Be, that's actually a difficult one. I like how you phrased it. Finally, a legit question. <laughs> hey, Half Life Three, Something man. Something that like isn't just super obvious. We got there in the going end. Going to happen. All right. <laughs> Will Zelda Wii U be published by Nintendo? <laughs> I have all these interesting ones. Like now, Fine, next week. Now, should I give this last one to Rabbit Luigi or Darren? Me? Who? Because he got the last two you know Darren you were talking about getting an Xbox One yes I was I have one so you're probably paying a lot of attention to Microsoft's press conference I actually have been paying a lot of attention to both Microsoft and Sony oh you shouldn't have gave me that information <laughs> <laughs> well now you're an easy pick for this last question now that okay. jeopardizes the operation I know well you know what I, I need a win here okay <laughs> <laughs> and even then this is still an impossible question um Will there be over or under six brand new game reveals between Sony and Microsoft's press conferences, not counting indie titles? Oh, not, not counting, counting indie. Wow. That changes it. Oh. oh, God. Yeah. 
I was gonna say over, but then the indie, indie question. they can do like a sizzle reel and have like fifty games in that sizzle reel. Mm. So I'm like, I don't want, I don't want that fifty game sizzle reel, man. I want, you know, B tier, A tier, triple A tier games. Oh, I, I'm gonna say to be exclusive. By the way, so it's just new game reveals. I'm gonna say over. Oh, I should have went right with the Wii. <laughs> I was gonna say over as well. <laughs> Were you? Would you have said under? Ha, the, okay. He was gonna say over too. I was. How? How? Oh, most of Sony's press conference, we already know what's gonna be in it. <laughs> See, it's like the same conference from last year with more stuff. I just really want to see you in a tingle oh. suit. And hardware. <laughs> <laughs> you want to, what? <laughs> Do I ask him to repeat that? Not he to undermine the operation. A tingle suit. Not, not to undermine <laughs> this operation at all, but you know. He be wants a good to story, see you in a tingle suit. Really? Have you seen <laughs> videos of me, man? You want to see me in any sort of tight clothing? Oh, I've seen a lot worse. This is just not good. I'm... Do you want me to ask a substitute question, Nathan? Would that make you feel better? A what? A, a question a what? to substitute for my Half Life Three One. <laughs> um. Yeah. You know what? Which uh, was that question five for you or Half Life One? Yeah. Um. Let's. Here, here's what we'll do for that question because I, I honestly, like, I might be trying to be mean about it. I just don't know if that question should count. <laughs> I'm gonna let our fans decide. So, like, when you guys listen to this podcast in the comments. Let us know if his Half-Life 3 question exclusive to NX should count. If the overwhelming majority say no, then uh, th- we'll substitute this one. I, I have an idea. How about if it's right and Half-Life 3 somehow he is an NX wins. exclusive? He automatically wins. He gets a point. But I'll say that right now. He wins automatically. Okay. There's he, no he'll get a point, question. but if it doesn't happen, then no one gets a point. Well, that's how's that fair to me? <laughs> um, it's not. I just, just want to see if it in a doesn't happen. Suit. No, <laughs> I know you. No, it's no. Right. What, what's your substitute question? We'll let the fans decide on that. Okay, one. Rabbit Luigi. But you have you have a job now. You have to make sure that everybody says that that question counts, so that we can see him <laughs> in a tingle suit. No I'm pressure on this poll. question. I'm going to have to put up a poll for it to make sure we <clears> get the count right. All right. Okay. Do you think? Okay, this is for, uh, I guess I'll end this last one towards Robert Luigi again. Yep. Do you think that Nintendo's going to talk more about, I know that this isn't a press conference, but do you think they're going to mention the newer roles for, like, Miyamoto and um, Reggie? Like, do you think they'll mention that at all? Uh, I'm going to say no. Not in not, not in the press conference. Not, not at E3. Okay. No, no, no tension on that at all, because everyone will say that the Half Life Three question counts. So no, the reason that the reason the reason that that's a that's a safe one in my mind is that um, Reggie didn't give up his current titles at Nintendo to, to get the title, the new title he has. So he's still going to be introduced. Like the only hope is that when he gets introduced, that you know they would say that they would use his new title instead of saying president. What or, is his new title Nintendo anyway? America. He's on some special board now at like the top tier. Yeah, well, is they he say like something fellow? No, no, that Fine was the fellow. old. That that fellow was um, after uh, Mr. Iwata sadly passed. Um, they started using fellows <clears throat> to describe things. No, they they they're restructuring everything. The reason why I think this is a safe win, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow this question because it's so much less ridiculous than the original, <laughs> um, <laughs> is that. All these positions are completely unconfirmed. These changes have not happened yet. Uh, they happen on June 29th. They haven't been voted on by the shareholders yet. Okay. So no one actually has these titles yet. But see, that but was that something that I didn't they know, know they want as an audience member. Yeah, but like they want to have them. Um, so you know they could use it that as a media opportunity. If this I will get this if if the you said no right if they if it's yes yep. and I'll give this to you if even if. While he's on screen, they have that little bar under his name. It says Reggie fils president of Nintendo yeah. of America, slash yeah. that. Then it goes yeah. to you. That's... No, 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 no. No, no, you don't give me... No, no. If it's, <laughs> it, That's a mention. That is an on-screen mention of the position, so... Yeah, uh, no, I know. You get that point. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, I would. Yeah. I yeah, would. that's what I was saying. Why do you got to give that to me? 
I said no. I was saying, you that, give me the, the half of that E3, baby. I'd get that either way. Yeah, I know. That's, nice it counts that. towards you. <laughs> yeah, it ain't going to happen, though. So, <laughs> Oh, my gosh. I just got slaughtered. I better hope <laughs> that all of my way out there weird questions, I just nail every single one. That's my only hope. <laughs> I'm praying for a tie, baby. I'm praying for a tie because, folks, if there is a tie, we get to up the stakes even more. So we get to do what we originally said in addition to something more. You both wear and tingle suits. I know, I know Alfred has more. Yep. I have more. We need to and set yes, per, like, tingle suit. parameters for the questions after that then. Because I asked you. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? We'll let our, we'll let our fans um, help us out with that maybe a I little asked bit. you, like, what what kind of <laughs> questions do you want? And you're like, oh, just pick some yes or no yeah, questions. Well, like, I didn't know. <laughs> this is our first ever betting special. I thought you were going to come at me hard. And you're like, nope. Here's the easiest questions I can think of. All right. That's okay, everybody. That is our E3 betting special. We're just going to lock all that in right now. And... <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's locked. <laughs>